Hey guys, this is HBK Grand, and we are making a video today about introduction to the world and the beginner's guide part 11. So last time we discussed about introduction to Mars, I'll share the link below between for all the introductions mostly. And today we're going to be discussing about a tangled shore. So how you actually go about doing it. The first tip that I'm going to give you before you even start on tangled shore, if you have gotten the uh, Forsaken DLC, Please start that before attempting to do anything for Tangled Shore. The reason behind that is once you have done Forsaken DLC, it will actually bring you to uh, the spider, which is the NPC for the Tangled Shore. So the stuff that you have to do for Tangled Shore is pretty simple, doing like Tangled Shore bounties, wanted bounty and public events. We have discussed a lot about wanted bounties in other guides as well. So here on the top, you'll see a lot of the wanted bounties as well. Doing a lot of them will get you Lord of the Wolves. It's an exotic as well as uh, you'll need ghost fragments by completing activities in the Tangled Shore. Now, these wanted bounties will actually be telling you where you can go to hunt these enemies, like from other planets and any other areas. But we're going to do like the biggest bounty that you can offer right now. And this comes once a week and it will be in a form of an adventure. Other than that, we're going to take all the bounties right now. And if you had Forsaken, that would be amazing because it requires five bounties from here as well. Now, you can get like resources from here as well. The enhancement core, you can start off by buying for 10 legendary shards, then 20, then 40. And that's where I stop. So you don't need to spend like 80 shards to just get one of them. You can also get like Glimmer, all the other kind of like resources from different planets as well. The reason why I'm getting Glimmer is because uh, when you're doing like upgrade modules and all that kind of stuff, it takes a lot of like Glimmer away from you. Plus doing additional bounties for XP for seasons and all that kind of things. So it just makes it a little bit difficult. So uh, for the uh, Combustor Valis, the wanted bounty we got, it actually comes into a form of an adventure, like I said, and you can actually go do that in um, Mercury. And that's where we will be doing it uh, later on in the video. So let's start off with doing like a public event. So first of all, the first public event is actually uh, near the uh, Jetsam of uh, Saturn. So that's where we're going to be heading for. So while you guys are going to be waiting for public events from time to time in the Tangled Shore, I would recommend one thing, guys, is doing as many patrols or if you see any mini bosses spawn because when you kill them they drop chests as many as you can find i would recommend trying to do that if you see there's like five minutes in that area where the public event is happening try to rush and do like a lost sector you can end up like doing two or three lost sectors if you are like really fast and efficient but it's completely your call uh, because uh, you will get the resources for the wanted bounties, uh, a lot of them. And in the beginning, you need uh, to do that farming. Uh, as well as there are triumphs that give you like, uh, you need to do patrols, you need to do a lot of public events. Now, two things I need to talk about the public events here. One, try to make every single public event a heroic public event. It does consume time but you need those heroic public events for your triumphs if you are interested. If you're not, then you can rush it. But to be honest, there are a lot of people out there that are looking to finish uh, the triumph where like it's almost like close to 500 uh, heroic public events that you have to do in the Tangled Shore. So like keep an eye out for that one because there are quests, some of, the, or some of them out there that require to do like uh, public events in the Tangled Shore. So some people try to rush it. The last thing about the public events are the bosses basically. So when the boss comes out, you'll see that it has the wanted name on it. If it says it's a Tangled Shore wanted bounties, these uh, bosses or will have that wanted name next to it and you can basically uh, kill them to get the bounty. Now these guys basically rushed the public event, but there's a catch to doing a heroic public event as well that if you do a heroic public event, you'll get two uh, fragments instead of one for the wanted bounty resource. So next up is the lost sector that we have to do for the bounty and the introduction of the worlds as well. So luckily where we just did the public event, right on the opposite side, there will be a cave in for the entrance of the lost sector. You'll always see the lost sector symbol next to where the entrance will be. Now, if you're doing it for the first time and you haven't discovered it, you won't be able to see the names on the map. But once you have finished that completely, you will be able to see the names appear on the map, making it easier for the next time when you get wanted bounties or you just have to do the bounties for spider as is. 
so it makes it a lot easier now one thing i do recommend guys like if you are starting out with tangled shore for example and this is like after reset i would recommend going to the tower first make sure you go and collect all the bounties from banshee especially the additional ones as well because what happens is like let's say banshee gives you a daily bounty that gives you auto rifle kills his additional bounty will actually contain uh, auto rifle advanced kills or whatnot so it's similar with other weapons as well so it's a lot faster to actually do those bounties while you're doing other bounties in planets as well uh, in right now there's like the season of the worthy going on so if you go to the bunker you'll end up like fighting uh, like high level vex sometimes it says high level fallen so it could be any uh, number of things so you can do multiple bounties at the same time so now we're going to be doing another public event but we were able to make it into a heroic public event so that's why it was a lot easier and now i can actually show you guys what you kind of have to do whereas another uh, wanted a boss does come out of that cryopod so if a tangled shore bounty is available at the spider uh, you can uh, take that and it could be this boss as well so there's like a total of three bosses or four bosses i believe that actually appear over here um, now i was actually able to uh, do this into a heroic public event so what you have to do to make it into heroic is first of all damage the boss once you take down like his health bar to like maybe like one or two down you'll see like the, there's like a pool of electricity or like arc damage that comes out and the cryopod there will be like areas where like the steam pops out you have to shoot that to take off the lid and you'll see like two orbs or like three orbs on each side you can pick up in order to make it into a heroic one you actually have to hit those orbs at the boss uh, it has like a blast radius so even if you miss by a little you should be able to catch it and you'll see like this thing popping to the left side that the warden has been compromised and whatnot whereas when you do it the third time uh, the boss will be frozen and you can actually start capturing so there will be a ring around him and it will turn into a heroic public event at this point you basically have to stand inside this ring area to start the capture process now let's say you're the only person that was here and you just barely made it to the point where you just made it into a heroic event and the timer is about to run out if you see the timer being like zero you can actually still finish this into a heroic public event as long as you do not leave the capture circle if you die in it or if you like step out of it at the timer when it is zero uh, you will actually finish the public event into a regular form instead of the heroic public event however staying inside the capture area once it reaches 100 percent will complete the public event uh, into a heroic version as well as you will be getting two uh, ghost fragments for the uh, vaunted bounties from the tangled shore uh, this also counts as uh, for the wanted bounties that I mentioned. So whether you capture the boss or you kill the boss, it doesn't matter. Uh, it will count towards either one of them. Also, uh, while you're doing this, again, it's like so easy to emphasize on this one that uh, you can do multiple bounties uh, while you're doing like these tasks and you can finish them uh, really quickly as well. Once this is finished, uh, just claim your chest and we're going to be on our way to Mercury. Now the last thing we have to do is a wanted bounty for the Tangled Shore. So right now I actually took uh, the highest uh, bounty for the wanted ones uh, that the spider has to offer. So this week it is actually Combustor Valis. It's a weekly bounty that will reset only on weeklies. Uh, whereas you will get like different sets of bosses. Uh, so this one is Combustor Valis uh, this week. So just keep this in mind guys that when you go inside the law sector you're going to find something else. There will only be one boss. So, but at this time, if you have done this uh, Lost Sector previously, you'll see that the boss was actually running away from uh, these cabals. So it's going to be something similar. So each of those bosses are usually running away from something else that is inside that Lost Sector, usually the wanted enemy that you're hunting. And it will always be in a form of adventure for this uh, highest level bounty. The rest of them, you could just go in and they will be the regular bosses with the wanted names on them. 
Now, like I said earlier, there will be a different way of killing the bosses for this wanted bounty, such as this one. So this is one of the examples. What you have to do is if you have done a public event uh, previously where the cabals are and an injection rig lands on you, during the event, when the vents are open and you start taking the solar damage, that's something similar that's going on over here. So if you go inside that bubble, you're going to start taking solar damage immediately. But the boss deals a lot more damage and if there are adds inside as well, you'll take more damage as well. You can also take like these uh, orbs that these uh, adds drop and they give you like a shielded uh, like overshield for a few seconds. So that can be also fruitful for you when you're going into kill. Having like an ultimate ready to kill the boss in one shot or whatnot or like a shotgun. A uh, sword, uh, even like a grenade launcher, or rocket launcher, anything that can insta kill or like help you defeating the boss quickly would be awesome. Otherwise, uh, make sure like you're taking your time, just backing out and doing the damage again. Uh, once you take down the boss to 50% health, uh, a second set of uh, adds do appear again. So it is completely up to you whether you want to kill all of them or just wait it out. So you'll have to technically just uh, like kill the boss in order to claim the chest or com complete the bounty. Uh, once you have killed the boss, uh, you don't even need to do anything else anymore. Now we have completed the last part for the Tangled Shore and now we're gonna visit the spider. So that is pretty much it for this video guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. If you guys still have any questions or comments, you can leave it in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them. Make sure to hit that like button guys and subscribe. So have a great one guys. Take it easy.